Model Review Guideline Objective To provide guidelines for conducting 3D model reviews using 3D model review software to ensure plant or platform design conforms with project requirements and meets safety, constructability, economy, operability, and maintainability standards. Applicability This guideline applies to all projects where 3D model reviews are required, ensuring thorough examination and verification of the plant or platform layout and design. Key Elements 1. Purpose and Scope Define the purpose and scope of the 3D model review process. Outline the review types, frequency, scope, responsibilities, and procedures for staging a review. Highlight the importance of these reviews in replacing squad check issues of general arrangement drawings. Staged Modeling Adopt a staged approach to model development during the project execution phase. Stage 1 0% to approximately 30% model completion. Stage 2, approximately 30% to 70% model completion. Stage 3, approximately 70% to 100% model completion. Completion of each stage is defined by model content and document status rather than percentage progress. Develop model content lists on a project-by-project -project basis using examples for offshore projects. 3. Types of 3D model reviews. 3.1 Engineering Model Review. Impromptu reviews held at short notice to resolve immediate design issues without a formal report. Regular scheduled reviews, held during the detailed design phase to review progress and specific design issues, with action items recorded in a report. Stage model reviews. Comprehensive reviews at predefined stages of document and activity status, requiring multidisciplinary attendance and detailed checks against PNIDs and supplier data. 3.2 Functional Model Review Customer Engineering Representative Review Involves Customer Representatives Construction Review Focuses on Constructability Aspects Operations and Maintenance Review Ensures the model meets operational and maintenance requirements Action items from these reviews are recorded in a report 4. Frequency of 3D Model Reviews Regular model reviews are scheduled based on project status with a major project frequency schedule recommended Minor projects may combine model reviews to achieve required outcomes. Daily or impromptu reviews can be scheduled informally. 5. Model Review Attendees Representatives from each discipline must attend, including piping and layouts, process, structural, civil, electrical, instrumentation, HSE, and project engineering management. Specific reviews may require customer representatives, construction, operations, and maintenance personnel. 6. Scope of Stage Reviews Scope follows the project master schedule and design maturity. Model review agendas are issued at least two weeks prior to each review. Detailed scope lists and agendas are provided for Stage 1, 2, and 3 reviews. 7. Responsibilities Sent Design Systems Coordinator updates model review files daily, prepares necessary equipment and files for the review, produces tag reports from Smart Plant Review. Archives model review files for record purposes. 72 Design Coordinator chairs formal multidiscipline model reviews, establishes agenda and participant lists, issues invitations, and compiles review reports, tracks action items in the Project Action Tracking Register. 7.3 Lead Piping Engineer and Lead Piping Designer operate Smart Plant Review software during the review, ensure the model is navigated as per the review agenda. 7.4 Customer provides input during design, operations, and maintenance model reviews. Coordinates response to customer action items. 7.5 Construction Manager conducts constructability reviews. Provides feedback and resolutions to action items. 7.6 Lead designers and engineers ensure timely resolution of action items. Record cleared action items in the Project Action Tracking Register. 8. Staging a 3D Model Review 8.1 Documents Ensure copies of relevant documents are available for review participants including Agenda Project Action Tracking Register PNIDs, PFDs Model Prompt List Project Basis of Design Equipment Layouts Plot Plan Equipment List Piping Material Specification Discipline Specific Documents 8.2 Running the Review The Design Coordinator chairs the review, adhering to the agenda and capturing all relevant discussion points. An action list is created for items requiring attention. 8.3 Method Review starts with a brief overview of outstanding action items. 
conducted in a logical order with thorough examination from multiple views. Use the Encircle feature to review each piece of equipment or area. Review by PNID methodically, working through each pipeline and yellowing off the PNID set. For multi-level facilities, review deck levels logically using clipping planes. 8.4 Model Review Report Capture review comments with sp specific action requirements. Comments should contain a clear description of the action required, responsible party and relevant details, equipment number, line number, etc. Ensure all comments are read back to attendees for concurrence. Use smart plant review tags or laptops for comment capture. Issue the report immediately after the review. No. Model release for extraction of IFC deliverables. A plant or platform area cannot be released for IFC drawings before a pre-IFC model review and approval of the model review report. Ensure completion of action items before issuing drawings as IFC. By following this structured guideline, the 3D model review process will ensure comprehensive verification of plant or platform design, supporting safe and efficient project execution. Model review procedure. Objective. Define the work processes involved in a model review session within the design office. Applicability. This procedure covers defining, scheduling, setting up, running, recording, and actioning a model review session. Custodian. BPO Engineering. Process Overview. The process involves participation from key stakeholders, ensuring all necessary input, approval, and actions are addressed. 1. Schedule Model Reviews. SARFSTI 1.1 Develop a Frequency Schedule. Create a schedule for model reviews, referring to the model review guideline. Ensure the frequency aligns with project milestones and phases. 1.2 Establish activity status for each model review stage. Define the specific activity status required for each stage of the model review. Reference the model review guideline to ensure consistency. 2. Prepare for a model review. 2.1 Develop the agenda. Create a detailed agenda outlining the objectives and items to be reviewed. Ensure the agenda covers all critical areas and is distributed in advance. 2.2 Book the conference room. Book a suitable facility to hold the model review. The Design Coordinator, DC, is responsible for booking the room, with assistance from the Design Systems Coordinator, DSC, for additional equipment like projectors and computers. 2.3. Issue invitations to attendees. Send out invitations at least two weeks in advance to ensure all participants are available. Confirm attendance from all necessary stakeholders. 2.4. Prepare review session electronic files. The DSC prepares the electronic files needed for the model review. Ensure all files are updated and accessible during the review session. 2.5 Source Documentation Lead discipline designers and engineers assist the DC in sourcing relevant reference documents, e.g. PNIDs, plot plans, layouts. Ensure all documents are up to date and reflect the current project status. 3. Conducting the review 3.1 Chair the review the design coordinator chairs the review, ensuring all agenda items are covered. Take minutes for the report, documenting key points and decisions. 3.2. Run the review. The lead piping designer or engineer drives the review walkthrough under the direction of the DC following the agenda. Use 3D modeling software to navigate and examine the model thoroughly. 4. Model review report. 4.1. Prepare and issue the report. The DC prepares the model review report with input from lead discipline designers and engineers. The DSC extracts a model tag report for a pending if required. Distribute the report to all attendees promptly. 5. Project Action Tracking Register 5.1 Upload New Action Items Upload the action items from the model review report to the Project Action Tracking Register. Refer to the Model Review Action Tracking Index Template for consistency. 5.2 Weekly Update Issue a weekly update of the Project Action Tracking Register to lead discipline designers and engineers. This can be done via hard copy or through the project website using the Alerts function. 5.3 Resolution of Action Items Ensure that outstanding items on the Project Action Tracking Register are addressed and cleared in a timely manner. Monitor progress and follow up on action items regularly. 5.4 Archiving Review Sessions Archive the electronic files for formal stage reviews, including customer, safety, constructability, 
maintenance, and operations model reviews. Ensure all documentation is stored securely for future reference. Roles and Responsibilities Design Coordinator, DC, oversees the scheduling, preparation, and conduct of the model review, prepares and issues the model review report, chairs the review and ensures action items are tracked and resolved. Design Systems Coordinator assists with preparing electronic files and booking necessary equipment, extracts model tag reports, and supports the DC in documentation and archiving. Lead Discipline Designers and Engineers provide necessary documentation and input for the review, participate actively in the review, and assist in addressing action items. Project Engineering Manager and Customer attend reviews as needed and provide input and approvals. By following this structured procedure, the model review process ensures thorough examination and verification of the project design, supporting safe and efficient project execution.